What's up guys, Iovo here, and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to be going over the top five best screen recorders that are available right now. Whether you want to record your gameplay or make tutorial videos, I'm going to be going over the pros and cons of each software there's going to be options available for both Windows and Mac users, and I made sure that none of these programs have any sort of watermarks or recording limits, and you won't need any sort of special graphics card either. So with that being said, let's get started. Now these programs aren't ranked in any particular order, but the first one we're going to be talking about is FreeCam. And FreeCam is a very simple, lightweight screen recorder that also has some built-in editing functionality. You can record any custom area of your screen and then record the audio at the same time through an external microphone or just record the system audio. And once you're done recording your video, you can also make some edits within the program. So you can trim the video, remove background noise, or add a cursor highlight, which is a very unique feature. So if you're making tutorial videos, this cursor highlight functionality can be very useful because it'll make it very easy for your viewers to follow along your screen recording. FreeCam is also very lightweight, so you don't need a super powerful computer to run it. And of course, there are no watermarks or time limits. There are a few restrictions, however. You can only use FreeCam on Windows, but we're going to be going over a Mac alternative later on. And if you wanted to record your screen and webcam at the same time, so maybe have like a face cam while you're recording, you can't do that within the free version, but there's a bunch of different programs that I'm going to be talking about where you can do all of that. So if you don't have a super powerful computer, but you wanna record your screen and audio, and then also make some light edits afterward, I would say that FreeCam is a great choice. Now, if you're either a gamer or want the most robust software possible, I would recommend OBS Streamlabs, which is available on Windows and also has a beta version for Mac. You can add multiple audio and video inputs into a single recording. So if you wanted to record your microphone, your system audio, your gameplay, your face cam, as well as add a face cam border on top, you can do that within a single recording using Streamlabs. Streamlabs is also very customizable and it can do a lot of different things. Not only can you record your stream, but you can also stream to platforms such as YouTube and Twitch and set that all up with your scenes and sources within the program. I also made a tutorial on how to use Streamlabs. So if you are interested, I'll link it down below in the description. But Streamlabs is my personal favorite just because it's the most customizable and it's very robust and it can be used for both recording and streaming. The only limitation I would say is that you need a slightly more powerful computer, but nothing crazy by any means. If you have four gigabytes of RAM and an Intel 5 2000 or higher, you should be good. Now, if you're not a fan of Streamlabs, maybe you don't like the UI, but you still want something that's very robust and something geared towards gaming, you can also use Flashback. And Flashback has two different programs. They have Flashback Express and they have Flashback X, which is the gaming version. Now, Flashback Express is fairly similar to OBS in terms of functionality. You can record different audio inputs and video inputs, and it's good for gaming. And you can also use everything within the program itself. And the UI is very different. So if you don't like the Streamlabs UI, then you might like the Flashback Express UI. And then Flashback X is the gaming version. And what's really, really cool about it is it has DVR style recording, which means that you can just open up Flashback X and keep it running without recording your screen. And then say you hit a really cool trick shot or stunt and you wanna record something that's already happened, you can use Flashback X to do that. So these are great alternatives to Streamlabs that are also very robust. Now Flashback Express and Flashback X are also free. The only limitation is that within Flashback Express, you can't really use the video editor that's built in as well. So you can't add text or animations. That's only in the pro version. Now, one thing I wanna quickly mention is that you don't need a screen recorder that has a built-in video editor. I actually made a video on the top five best free video editors as well. So what you can always do is get a free screen recorder and then get a separate free video editor that usually has more features and then combine the two to make your videos. But for what it is, Flashback Express and Flashback X are both very, very good programs. Now, if you guys are getting overwhelmed and don't want something as robust, you can also get ScreenRec. ScreenRec is probably the simplest recorder on this list. It's available for Windows, Linux, and Mac, which is great. And what you can do with ScreenRec is basically record your screen, record the audio, as well as take screenshots. And the whole idea behind ScreenRec is being able to do this very fast. So there's not many you know, editing functionalities built into it, but the goal is to just really quickly record your screen, record your audio, or take a screenshot, and then send it to somebody else and share it with them right away. Since ScreenRec is the simplest recorder on this list, it also has the lowest system requirements. So you can have a fairly old computer and still run it. And what's really nice is that, you know, it doesn't have any watermarks. It doesn't have a time limit, but on top of that, you also get two gigabytes of free cloud storage. So if you wanted to record your videos and then upload it and then access them from a different device or share them, you get two gigabytes of cloud storage to do that for absolutely free. 
And two gigabytes of free storage may not sound like a lot, but that's the equivalent of recording your screen for about 10 hours. So it's a lot of free storage they're giving you. So if you're on Windows or Mac and you want the fastest option, something that's very lightweight and easy to use, and you only want to use for screen recording, then Screen Rec is your best option. Now the final program on this list is NCH Capture. Now NCH is only available on Windows and it's not the prettiest, but it's still pretty good. With NCH Capture, you can record your screen and webcam at the same time, as well as multiple audio inputs. And then once you're done recording your video, you can also edit it within the program. So you can trim your video as well as add different effects to your video and your audio. So you can actually do some very light color correcting within the program as well. So it's really good for that purpose. And if you wanted to make some quick edits like add text or fades, then NCH Capture is a great option because it has all of that available and you won't have to download another video editor. But that's about it for this video. Hopefully you guys found a new screen recorder that you can use for your videos. If you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. My name is Iovo and I'm signing out.